sure you can tell by the astronomical grin on my face that it feels so good to be outside of my postcode. I honestly haven't left my county. In fact, I haven't driven further than eight miles from my house in the last eight weeks. And today, we're back at MVN London. We're back, we're open, we're phasing back into normality. Today, I'm gonna to show you around some super sexy cars and also run you through some of the precautionary measures that we've taken to sort of responsibly reopen, uh, starting with walking through the front door. So we've had lots of uh, signage made up lately uh, in order to keep staff safe, keep customers safe, uh, because we are doing uh, handovers here for various dealerships who are currently closed and reopening. Uh, they've been able to come here because thankfully we have so much space uh, that people can join us and do a handover in our handover bay, which I shall share with you shortly. So let me point you around. Do you know what I'll do is a sort of first person point of view as to how you are received and welcomed at NVN. So first of all, you are reminded to keep the distances. Now, what's really cool is we have our sort of uh, station here set up in order to adhere to the various guidelines and rules uh, which have been passed down to us from the government. So temperature checkpoints, cool. Uh, we have this temperature thermometer device here. This is a, a, a non-contact unit. You point this towards your forehead and it takes your reading. Um, hopefully that stays in the green and you're good to go. If it doesn't, I'm afraid you're back out the door. Uh, and obviously standard things, masks, gloves, and hand sanitizer. Just before we go any further, I'm going to uh, conveniently take, look at this. Got our own little branded NVN face masks on. There we go. I'm gonna put this on before we go inside just to uh, tick all of the appropriate boxes. Thankfully, I'm gonna be facing away from the camera so I don't have to be as antisocial as it looks. Anyway, onwards inside. Now then, uh, the room where the magic happens. Once again, this is where you are welcomed and received as soon as you walk into NVN London. Just smelling the coffee as I walk in here. I honestly haven't seen another supercar for over eight weeks, uh, which for my line of work is berserk. And I shall show you, we are absolutely ram-packed. I am shocked actually at the, uh, the amount of influx of cars we've had since we've opened over the last few days. So, uh, yes, yeah, starting with lots of warning signs. It's pretty much a, a warning and a notification pretty much everywhere you look in NVN. Namely, when you're about to walk into the main workshop slash atrium, as it were, we do have uh, reminders that uh, social distancing must remain in operation. While I'm here, uh, I wasn't informed, but Expel, uh, who are the supplier and largest uh, supplier of paint protection film in the world, um, awarded us as the UK South Dealer of the Year. So thank you, thank you so much. We're absolutely blown away uh, because we are only a year old and we've managed to pick up this award. So Expel, thank you so much. Uh, we weren't able to collect it for obvious reasons, but it shall proudly sit there on our desk and hopefully we can uh, uphold that reputation moving forwards. Speaking of moving forwards, let's head on out. So, signs everywhere on the floor, two meters apart. Now, one of the things that we always built into NVN from day one was the option to come and view all of the work which is taking place. Normally, you can walk around, enjoy all of the cars. However, we have put this strict viewing area here, uh, indicated by both uh, lines and tape to keep on Luckers safe while we're here. This is of course about protecting both staff and clients. Um, so you can still effectively get a feeling for the environment, but you can't really go any further than here unless you work here. Thankfully, I do. Okay, so at times this might be mildly antisocial, but needs must. I'm gonna step beyond the boundary here and take you to look around the remarkable cars that we have in for PPF right now. So, remarkable. Rolls-Royce Wraithin, a uh, brand new car that's just been delivered, full body PPF, applied ceramic coating. Uh, this car is actually being exported to a different country soon. I'm always amazed at the clientele that bring cars here. It's remarkable to have you know us based in London, but receiving cars, and all I'll say is from halfway around the world, uh, which is remarkable stuff. Uh, my F12 TDF is here. There will be a video coming soon uh, to support the updates and progress with that car and what might be happening with it for the rest of the year. I haven't even driven this car this year. So I'm actually questioning what the future of this car is for the rest of the year, because effectively 
I only bring this car out for special occasions, either big road trips, uh, great events like the Goodwood Festival of Speed or something like that. And this year, everything is cancelled. So I'm not sure when I'll actually use it, which has sort of had me questioning, what's the plan for the TDF this year and ongoing? So I will be doing a video about that very soon. But while it's been here, uh, you may have noticed something missing from the car. The last time you saw this car, either on Instagram or YouTube, the decals, the round stickers, which were on the bonnet and the side of the doors um, from the Targa Florio rally, which I did last year, have been removed. They did look cool, uh, but they weren't sort of professional vinyls. They were literally stickers and they were becoming a little bit frayed. And when you got up close to it, I didn't think it looked as tidy as it does annoyingly on photos. So I don't know, who knows? I might get some of my own made up in order to make it look how it did. Uh, but right now I just got a bit clean while it was parked up here in NVN. Uh, also had Michelin tires fitted to the car. Now these were actually fitted to the car at the uh, tail end of last year uh, when I went on a sort of joint YouTuber road trip. That was very cool. Uh, transformed the turn in of the car. It's fantastic to have this new generation Michelin PS4S tire on. This car as well, by the way, has 275 section front tires and um, as a result of having such wide front tires Ferrari had to develop rear wheel steering for the car because the front end turned in so aggressively the back end would follow around in a sort of oversteer fashion so while that might be uh, fun at times for actually using on the street sideways around every roundabout isn't necessarily the most conducive driving characteristic so uh, yeah this was one of the first cars that ferrari developed rear wheel steer on very cool stuff anyway let's just take a look down this lineup beautiful spec 488 pista now what is special about this particular car is the hand painted shields i think they set this car off incredibly well and uh, that's a remarkably expensive option. If you spec that from factory, I think it's around about a 10 grand option. So effectively five grand aside, um, these are supposedly hand painted, uh, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And they are 50% larger than conveniently a standard badge, uh, which really sets off the car. I mean, it's a huge shield and it looks magnificent. This car doesn't have the uh, carbon wheels but with them being blacked out still sets the car off remarkably well and if you haven't twigged it does also have a contrasting deeper navy central stripe very tidy spec which ties in quite nicely with and if i zoom in here the tricolore inserts on the seats there very cool spec and if you can just see i'll just zoom in over here like the edge of the paddle shifters has also been trimmed in white it's a very, very cool spec. Onwards down the road, we have another Portofino here. It's also great to see some Porsches in. We have a Turbo here and a Turbo S over there. I will get around to that Enzo, don't worry. Fascinating story about that car. Um, yeah, great to see some more Porsches in because we have lately been very Ferrari heavy. Uh, five Series Estate there, this eight, look at this. This is cool. This has been in for some serious TLC so we've spent a lot of time reconditioning this even had some other parts of the car repainted so that will look special when it's completed we have a California T here but I want to get around to this Pista and Turbo S which is conveniently parked next to a S800 by Turbo Brabus with I mean check out those rims I can't decide if they're awesome or weird but on a Brabus, it just suits it off. Fun fact about the paint on this car, um, this isn't the color that the car was specced in. Uh, this was actually a completely resprayed car. And of all of the inspiration for the shade of this paint, it came off a, wait for it, smart car. <laughs> so the owner spotted this shade and said, I would like it matched to the paint on that smart. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. Check out the carbon work. Look how aggressive the scoops and sculpture is of the induction on the front of the car it is swollen look at it these these winglets here which help channel air down the side of the car and down the side of those massive alloys yeah stunning thing if i can just share with you i believe the door is open so let's just have a, a look at this quickly yes inside look the owner has had his components of the dashboard painted in the same color 
is the exterior of the car. This Turbo S, black on black on black with more black. Like even the Porsche badge and the 911 Turbo S logos have been blacked out. Got this uh, split iconic Turbo S wing. These cars are really appealing to me right now. I think the 992 generation Turbo S looks fantastic. Uh, I was supposed to be giving you a first drive impression of that car soon, but obviously with uh, the whole virus thing, <laughs> everything's been canceled. But whenever I see even the 991 gen turbos now, I just fall in love all over again. There's so much performance. And if there was ever a true daily supercar, this is it. So hopefully later on in the year, uh, we should be able to get behind the wheel of the new Turbo S and bring you some first impressions of what that car drives like. On paper, performance sounds absolutely bonkers. And then we have another 488 Pista here. Uh, the blue tape, by the way, on the front is to indicate where there's imperfections in the paint, uh, which we shall have corrected for clients. So. Yeah, nice to see plenty of pistas in. Now then, here we are, the star of the show, uh, to walk in this morning and see a Ferrari Enzo in here. Now this is having a remarkable amount of work to, done to it. Um, the car, would you believe, has done around about 20,000 kilometers. So the owner's a hero, <laughs> absolute hero, truly using uh, his Enzo. Now this is in for full paint inspection. In fact, there might be a sheet here just to give you an idea of the kind of inspection that we do. Yes, so uh, full sort of uh, blueprint of the car. And then our team goes around it. Uh, different people from different departments of NVN, uh, depending on whose profession is what, uh, they will inspect paint, trim, wheels, all sorts of things to give it a complete inspection and then we will report to the client any areas that we think could benefit from some improvement. Even areas that we don't actually do ourselves, there might be some interior trim that we can recommend or some seals, etc., uh, which might be worth paying some attention to. So we've got uh, marks here for chips, scrapes, scratches. Um, I mean, it might look like there's lots here, but our guys are so <laughs> particular, I'm not sure you would actually pick them up. but. The one that interests me the most is this. I mean, how complex does that look? So this is actually the uh, paint depth reading. So we have a uh, paint depth gauge, which effectively is a sort of sonar really for the paint. It bounces off the depth of the paint and it tells you how much work you've got to play with when it comes to doing paint correction on this car. So. This is a super important process. It lets us know the kinds of compounds that we use on the paint, how hard you can apply pressure in different areas. And literally, as we move from different areas of the car, pads will be swapped, compounds will be swapped. Um, just, yeah, all sorts of different stages are tailored specifically, literally, to each panel. So, yeah, this is a really important part. Having an Enzo at NVN London, uh, truly honoured. It's fantastic to see one of these even at a car show, never mind within your own establishment. So thank you so much to the owner for bringing it in. Uh, we are very honored to be taking care of it for you. And just look at it. I think as far as cars go that have aged well, it's funny, I think these cars went through a stage throughout their midpoint of their life where they just looked a little bit older, but I think that they've almost come full circle now. Look at that. As far as dramatic supercars goes, Enzo is still a majorly true bona fide hypercar. What a thing. And then moving on, more signage. Um, now, just before I talk about the interesting process which is taking place on the Bentley here, uh, notice the three bays, bay one, bay two, bay three. Uh, the idea is no more than two personnel will be working on any car at any one time. The reason that we've um, created these bays, which are much larger than we would normally work to, is obviously for the social distancing rules. However, we've also allocated teams to their specific bays, which means there's no sort of cross working with different teams on different bays. So everyone sort of stays in their work zone. Everyone has their own cleaning equipment, hand sanitizer, masks, etc., within their own bays. And so there's no need for teams to overlap. Uh, that might seem obvious, but the way we work, we have people jumping from different bays and different cars to help people out at different stages. Basically, everyone's working at different stages at different times, which means people, you know, might not need gloves for one application, such as 
fitting the paint protection film. Whereas if you're doing some detailing, you might need gloves on. So we just want everyone who's at their own stage to be at an equal stage. So there's no sort of overlap with processes to keep everyone safe. But also, of course, they're really big bays with lots of space to make sure that no one has to come closer than six feet. So very cool stuff. Anyway, uh, the process with regards to this Bentley Continental convertible, uh, we are applying our security film. Um, you can think of this as paint protection film for windows, only it is hardcore. The idea behind it is to stop against um, smash and grabs. So, you know, crime in, in London isn't great right now, sadly. Uh, there's lots of smash and grabs if you were to leave a bag or anything on your, your seat. Um, the window film which we have installed here literally protects from anyone smashing your window with a hammer and uh, yeah it, it is that strong it's remarkable stuff in fact in one video i will do a demonstration just of how strong this stuff is um, but yeah it, it's installed first of all you know front windscreen won't take it any hits and chips uh, but second of all smash and grabs you would need to go at this with a few smashes of a hammer to even access it and the way that this film works is that it holds all of the glass in one piece and to get through it would be a nightmare so yes even though your window might break if they hit it hard enough they definitely won't be actually accessing the inside of your car so yeah that's what's happening there also if you were to have a really special car i don't know actually if you were to have this enzo for example um replacing the windscreen on a bentley it's not ideal but you can just order them you can phone someone up and they will come you know within a week at least and fit you a brand new windscreen Enzo windscreens aren't exactly lying around. <laughs> so that film on that windscreen is probably one of the best investments that you could make because the history on these cars is important, uh, let alone the inconvenience and cost of replacing a windscreen. So if you have the original windscreen for your original Enzo, that's a good thing. If it goes down on the history that it was swapped, that will damage the value of the car. So this film is amazing for specialist cars, classic cars, etc. I have another Portofino and then we have this G-Wagon here, this OG G-Wagon, uh, which has actually come in for matte or stealth paint protection film. So I should look forward to seeing that next week when that's done. So we're looking healthy. Look, every time I come here, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'm so thankful. Uh, I just really would like to say a huge thank you to clients, to supporters of the channel. I didn't expect to walk in here after being away for eight weeks and walk into a completely full room. It's, uh, it's fantastic. We're not finished yet. Lots more cars. I'll give you a quick rundown because there are lots of cars and there are more videos coming soon uh, because we have a new decontamination process specific to the current environment in which to uh, ensure that your car is much cleaner and contaminant free than when it entered here. So I shall share that with you on my Porsche Macan in an upcoming video, but I thought it would be worth sharing this Grigio 812 Superfast. Now, the reason I'm sharing it is because the wheels are actually chromed on the inside and painted the same color as the car on the outside. The effect is stunning actually, like head on, it's sort of trimmed with chrome, but as soon as you get to an angle, all of that chrome flares out just looks awesome inside is red it's a sort of bordeaux in interior are we open yeah look at that what a remarkable interior bordeaux leather gray alcantara yeah the whole thing just smacked class i love it like you can really see there how how gray all of that is so yes privilege and an honor to have that in here and then we have cars like this as well full spectrum new x5 this is an individual spec bm wx5 come in for full tlc you could be forgiven for thinking that ppf is only for your sort of special supercars but really these are the cars which you use every single day and they take a hammering so to be able to have ceramic coating full paint protection film at, at least front end on cars like this is brilliant to keep them looking fresh so yeah that's where we're at right now and here is our handover bay once again we have created this sort of segregated area to make sure there's no more than two people in this space and we also have these these things here, these stickers on the floor, just to 
remind people. Also, one of the small but significant uh, features that we've got set up is the key drop-off point. Now, ultimately, it, to save people getting close and exchanging things from other hands, we have this key drop-off point. Our guys from MVN drop the keys in there. The guys who was picking up the car picks it up separately, and they've always been sort of wiped and washed down, uh, which is convenient for this remarkable 408 piece that's being collected right now. Now, the other thing we have is these disinfected signs here. Now these go on cars which have been completely decontaminated. That process I shall share with you shortly. And then of course we have signs here for those who haven't, uh, just so everyone is extra cautious depending on what equipment they are around and what uh, cars they're around. And again, we've spread out these signs everywhere. Uh, yeah, but we're still looking good. I'm mostly thankful that we're still going. We were effectively shut. We were shut for well, I haven't been in for eight weeks um, and we officially reopened three days ago. So to have this amount of cars in is fantastic. Uh, there's more content to come. The decontamination that we do now is unlike any clean I've ever seen on a car and for very good reasons. So stay tuned. Be sure to tune in for the McCann Clean. Uh, it's now my family car uh, with a 15 month year old that lives in the back. As I'm sure you can appreciate, when you've got kids in a car, you want it to be as clean as you can possibly have it, given current circumstances. So tune in. As always, thank you so much for watching. It's good to be sort of almost back. And I look forward to sharing more content with you very soon. Ciao for now.